Once upon a time, in the enchanting kingdom of Enchancia, there lived a young princess named Sophia. She was not only kind-hearted and brave, but also loved exploring the magical wonders that surrounded her castle. One sunny morning, while playing in the royal gardens, Sophia stumbled upon an old, dusty map hidden beneath a bush. Excitedly, she unfolded it, revealing the layout of a hidden magical realm known as the Enchanted Grove. Curiosity sparked in her heart, and she decided to embark on an adventure. I wonder what magical creatures I might find there, she exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Without wasting a moment, she rushed to her room, donned her favorite blue dress, and set off toward the enchanted grove. As Sophia stepped into the grove, she was immediately greeted by vibrant colors and the sweet scent of blooming flowers. The trees shimmered with sparkling leaves, and soft giggles echoed around her. Suddenly, a tiny fairy named Flora flitted down from a branch, her wings glimmering like diamonds. Welcome, Princess Sophia. We've been waiting for you, Flora said, her voice like tinkling bells. The grove is in trouble. The magical fruit that gives us our powers has been stolen by a mischievous sprite named Pip. Without it, we can t keep our magic alive, determined to help. Sophia replied, Don T worry. Flora, I will help you find Pip and retrieve the magical fruit. Together, they set off deeper into the grove, where the trees twisted and turned in a beautiful dance. As they ventured further, they met many enchanted creatures along the way. A wise old owl named Oliver offered them advice. To find Pip, you must follow the trail of sparkling dust he leaves behind. But beware, he loves to play tricks. Sophia thanked Oliver and kept her eyes peeled for the sparkling dust. Soon, they reached a clearing where they spotted Pip, the mischievous sprite, perched on a branch, holding the magical fruit high above his head. Catch me if you can, Pip taunted, giggling as he darted away, leaving a trail of glittering dust. Sophia and Flora chased after him, zigzagging through trees and hopping over roots. They ran through a field of dancing flowers, which joined in the chase, twirling and swaying to encourage them. Finally, with a clever plan in mind, Sophia called out, Pip, we just want to talk. If you give us the fruit, we can share its magic with you too. Pip paused, intrigued. Really? You do share the magic? Of course. The magic is meant to bring joy, not to be hoarded. Sophia replied earnestly. After a moment of contemplation, Pip flew down. The magical fruit crattled in his tiny hands. All right, Princess Sophia, you've convinced me, he said, smiling sheepishly. I was just lonely and thought I could keep all the magic to myself. Sophia gently took the fruit and smiled at Pip. You don't he have to be lonely. You can join us in the grove and share the magic with everyone. Overjoyed, Pip nodded, and together they returned to the heart of the grove. The enchanted creatures gathered around as Sophia placed the magical fruit on a pedestal made of flowers. Instantly, it burst into a brilliant light, releasing waves of magic that restored the grove and filled it with laughter and joy. Flora fluttered around Sophia, her heart filled with gratitude. Thank you, Princess Sophia. You have saved our magical home. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the grove, Sophia knew it was time to return to the castle, but she felt happy knowing she had made new friends and brought magic back to the enchanted grove. With a wave of her hand, Sophia promised, I will return to visit you all soon, and as she made her way back home, the sparkle of adventure still glimmered in her heart, knowing that her magical kingdom was full of wonders waiting to be discovered.